Sports Weather Team. 515 on this 4th of July and a lot of people are out across southeastern North Carolina enjoying all the festivities, especially in Southport as we take a look outside with our Bob King GMC first alert sky cam. Hopefully everybody is staying hydrated because the temperatures are leaning on the toasty side. Current temperature 84 degrees feels more like 87, but eventually we'll start to see warmer temperatures to come throughout tonight. We are going to see nearly perfect conditions for fireworks. We will start to see those clouds build as we go throughout the night while mild and muggy rules. A few isolated fog banks possible on your Friday morning. Otherwise, hot sun, scattered clouds, even toastier temperatures with highs in the middle 90s. But the heat index will be close to 105 degrees throughout the day tomorrow. And that is issuing a heat advisory across much of southeastern North Carolina, where we're likely to see heat index values between 105 and and 109 degrees and those cooling shower and storm chances are remaining limited throughout this weekend. So let's break down the timing for those showers and storms starting later this evening. We'll see mostly clear to partly cloudy skies throughout tonight. A muggy start to our Friday morning and lots of dry time throughout the day. An isolated pop up shower or storm in the realm of possibilities, but those rain chances are going to remain very slim as we go throughout tonight and even throughout the day on on Saturday and that's all ahead of a front that's going to start to approach but likely going to stall as it makes its way into southeastern North Carolina and that front will eventually start to bring more elevated rain chances to our area and any rainfall that we do pick up is going to be very helpful because we are starting to see worsening drought conditions across our area. Even some D2 or severe drought conditions starting to come into play. Right now we do have high pressure over the Carolinas bringing mostly dry skies. Eventually that high pressure system will move offshore as the weekend progresses. Here a little bit closer to home we do have mostly dry skies across the Cape Fear. And as we check in with Hurricane Barrel, it is a Category 2 hurricane sustained wind at 110 miles per hour, moving west northwest at around 20 miles per hour. The system is starting to work its way in between the Yucatan Peninsula and even portions of Cuba. But as the system continues to trek into the Gulf of Mexico, it's likely going to weaken into a tropical storm before it ramps ramps back up into a hurricane right before it impacts portions of Mexico and Texas. That system likely not going to impact us here in southeastern North Carolina. And as we go throughout hurricane season here in the first alert forecast center, we'll continue to keep you up to date. And as we look ahead to the weekend, going to see those limited rain chances and toasty temperatures highs in the middle 90s. Heat index values in the triple digits throughout this weekend. Eventually, we will start to see more elevated rain chances heading into the new week, while temperatures will remain toasty as we get into midweek next week.